Hey you guys, hey guys, we're back, we're back in. I just want to jump in. I know I, I, I had an earlier video, but I wanted to jump on this video here. Talk about a little more different topic. Um, on the situations that we have going on now. I mean, I think a lot of us want to start something, want to do something, but we kind of, um, you know, we are thinking about it and we don't do it. But I think personally, um, what really got me to go and, and start this journey was... I was tired of the circumstances I was in, you know, I was tired of doing the same thing every day and, you know, and expecting different results. And you hear a lot of these entrepreneurs talking about it. And it's like, that's like the, they call it the law of insanity or something like that. And it's basically, it's, you know, doing the same thing you're doing and expecting different results. And, um, you know, and, and also in the, in the same fact, I was, I was, every day I was getting lessons from life, right? And I'm thankful for them now. You know, I'm thankful for the lessons that I've, I've gotten. And I still get them daily, right? But I used to not listen to the lessons. Um, I would think that's just how life is supposed to be, right? Like you're supposed to be, it's supposed to be hard. It's supposed to be a struggle. It's supposed to be, um, you know, fighting for another chance to live every day, right? And these are all the things you tell yourself. And... And it shows on your circumstances. And um, I started listening to listen to a lot of these YouTube videos, a lot of these Law of Attraction, um, uh, Mind, uh, Gurus. And at first, I was like, "This, these guys are just plain state. They're nuts. They're, they're just out of it. But, you know, I constantly will listen to it on a daily basis. And you start thinking differently. And the book that I'm reading right now, The Change Your Thoughts, Change Your Life by Wayne Dyer, he talks about you change everything with the way your thoughts are coming through right so the, the way you change any circumstance any outside circumstance is by your thoughts and you have to believe that that's gonna work you have to believe it before you can do it so so I said listen I'm tired of doing the same thing every day and not getting different results so I said let me change the way I think and uh, it doesn't cost me anything doesn't um, make me any poorer, right? Uh, it's just a, a different philosophy, and I go on upon different perspective on certain things, and it's um, you know it's something that I have to do myself, and nobody else can do it for me, and um, I won't be hurting anybody, I won't be impeding any happiness on anybody else. I'm just gonna be having different thoughts, and and I'll be, and I'll be mo monitoring my thoughts because sometimes we don't sit down and think as my said in my last video we don't actually manage our thoughts we don't understand our thoughts we don't stop and think how we what our thoughts are saying about a certain situation and um um it's something i want to talk about because i think it's very important on i see a lot of us that are that we think that we have to change certain things first and we have to start with our thoughts and reading this book is so powerful. I recommend you guys get it. I'm going to give you a little snap review at the end of it. So look out for that video. But right now, my insight today was, you know, all our lives, we are never taught that our thoughts are the main creator of our realities. And we believe that we have to get that better job or we have to get... Um, a connection or or meet somebody or to to you know all these things that to actually change our lives but before that we have to change our thoughts and that's a big big i think insight for me in this book today and i know you guys heard it from other guys but it is true you have to change your thoughts you have to and you know if you start looking at the way we think about certain circumstances that we're in it might be tough situations and people, some people, you say they they come out of tough situations and they succeed in life and they have these awesome lives, and it was because they changed their thoughts. You know, the situation didn't change; they were still in it, but they changed their thoughts. Um, and then you have people that are in situations where they are in bad situations and they stay in that situation for the rest of their lives and they basically pass away in that situation because they think that they have no choice and they don't have a, a uh, control of their thoughts. So. If you ever get a chance, I haven't read the book, but it's a uh, Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl, 
and he says the 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 most powerful the only thing that they can't take away from you is your mind they could they could they could you know take away your freedom your rights your your money your 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 assets everything but they can't take away your mind so by you by saying that you know you can be in a certain situation and the only way you can change it or you can actually not be influenced by it is by your thoughts and the reason I started the channel was to make sure to a lot, a lot of the people on here know that most of the time your mind is the most powerful thing and um, once you're able to really understand it and I don't think we're never going to understand it because I think something that was an ongoing journey but once you're able to tap into it a little bit more than when you usually are tapping into it you can start to even catch yourself on how you used to think or how you used to react to certain things like spark, certain things to spark you like and get you angry and 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 make you maybe not be who you not be very happy or not really um like the way you reacted once you're able to tap in a little bit a little bit more you're able to hold yourself back you're able to not waste energy on that you're able to focus on actual forward progress and, and, and situations and things that are actually going to make you better um, in the long run. So, you know, give it a thought, you know, think about it. Um, I know that it's said in a lot of my videos, but if you're, it's like starting out a new venture, you know, our thoughts right away are going to be like, well, I never seen it, I never done it. So, yeah, that's probably not going to work out. So, that's how I used to talk, right? And, and it's so true because your mind is already negative like bam it's probably not gonna work out but who knows I, I, i'll try it anyway and with that with with that talk to your, to yourself it probably isn't gonna work out so why don't we change like our our, our self-talk and say i'm gonna try it and um i'm gonna succeed at it because i know everything i, I try and I, and I and i focus on i make it work so, you know, so you're gonna make it work you know and and that's the way I started talking to myself. That's why I'm making a video every day, two videos a day. Um, and 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 so, trust me, I think we all wake up with that. Like, oh man, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? I'm not. I'm not. I'm nobody special. I don't have the talents. And you have to monitor your mind because your mind. That's this is the things that your mind is telling you, right? And when I say it out loud, I like to say it out loud because it's like, oh, well, it sounds. It sounds effing crazy. But it's what it's what your mind does, and I'm gonna try to make another video about journaling because I think journaling plays a big factor in that, and you're able to express your thoughts. And when you write them down, you see like this how your mind is, and you start, I think, getting to know yourself a lot better. But besides that, you know, you know that that a mind is the one that's controlling our realities, and. Um, a lot of people don't believe it. A lot of people think it's just you know BS. But think about it. Whenever you focus on anything, most of the time you accomplish it. Anything it is, it might be good or bad. It might be uh, guys want to get a girl. You're gonna get your your best. You're definitely gonna get that girl when you focus on a girl and you like this girl. Most of the time you get her. You 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 might not last in a relationship with her, but you definitely get what you want. Um, you want a certain. Um, a job that you think is great you're gonna work your ass to try to find out how to get in there how to make the, the interview how to meet the hiring manager um, how to be more um, uh, find the ins and outs for, you know f you know you think about ways to get that job so I think your mind definitely will work for you whatever it is that you want to focus on and I think once I learned that I, I'm, I was trying I'm trying to basically I am I'm focusing on things that are gonna bring me energy and bring me the life that I want and and I think that's something that you have to regulate because your mind has energy but if you focus on certain things that are gonna drain your energy you're not gonna have enough energy to actually focus on the things you want to bring you energy so if you think about it that way you know the energy that you have in your mind is like a if you think about it it's like um ever played Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter back in the days when I was growing up I'm an I'm a, I'm a 80s 85 baby but think about it everybody had a power meter right 
and the more you got hurt or like punch kick what not your power meter will go down eventually you get so weak that you lose the fight and you, you you know you lose so i look at it that's the way i look at my life you know like when i wake up um i have a full power meter right and and there's certain things that might take me to the extra if you remember street fighter i think it was or mortal Kombat. you had a, a cheat code and your power mode would be like power to the 10 times and you have to really really get hit a lot to actually lose a fight so it's like i want to do things that are going to up my power mode my power meter and that's by making videos by sharing it with you guys by posting on my instagram and just be myself and and i think that once you learn that you, you by you knowing how strong your power meter is you got to think about what do you want to release the energy to like do you want to go and, and and focus on certain things that are not going to bring you that energy um do you want to actually get into a discussion with that coworker, with that friend or try to prove yourself right to other people and lose energy and now you got to come back and try to focus on yourself but your energy is depleted so i know it sounds crazy but i think if you look at it that way you start thinking about okay is this worth my energy is this worth my energy um and and you'll be making better choices because now you, you know if what would i get like for like for me i, I think for a lot of stuff is like i want to prove myself to somebody and now I've, I've, I, as I've come on my journey, I'm trying to let that go a little bit because I don't get anything out of it. And I notice that the person doesn't really understand and you're going to stay, you know, you're both going to be like kind of like depleted. So I try to just walk away and think about it and digress, um, meditate, what, whatever it may be that might help me not think about it. And I'm not going to lie, I'm still going to think about it for a while, but eventually it goes away. Um, so... I think we should start doing that, you know, think about certain situation, do I want to apply my energy to this, do I want to deplete my energy levels, my energy bar uh, on the situation, what would I gain from it after depleting my energy levels, and um, whether it's smarter to just let it be and go back to focusing on what it is that you want to accomplish. So think about it guys, let me know, um, like the video if you care, if you liked it, and if not, I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you guys tomorrow.